Hey everyone, my name is Ben and I do product development at Zoa. Today, we're gonna to talk about in-room purifiers. A lot of homes have these nowadays, but you might not need one if you have a central air system that's doing all the air filtration for you. If you're like me and you do have a central air system, but you're also in the middle of a forest fire season, you're gonna probably want one or two of these to be able to keep the forest fire smoke in your home down at a pretty low level. Unfortunately, during a forest fire, these are super hard to find inside of hardware stores. So one of the next best things that you could do is build your own box air purifier. The parts needed to build a DIY air purifier are pretty simple. You need a furnace filter, some tape, and a box fan. Box fans are commonly found at hardware stores. This one is 20 inches by 20 inches, and it moves quite a bit of air for its size. Picked it up for about 30 bucks. A little bit easier to find than air purifiers during the wildfire season. Now you pair that with a furnace filter that's about the same dimensions. This is a 20 by 20 furnace filter, and that one indicates the furnace filter thickness. This one in particular has a MERV 13 rating, which means that it filters out about 90% of the particles between one to 10 microns, which is what's commonly found in forest fire smoke. You're not gonna to wanna to get a filter below MERV 11 because it just won't be good enough to be able to capture the particles that we're worried about during the forest fire season. So MERV 11 or higher, I recommend MERV 13. Though I only have a one inch filter here, I recommend that you go with a two inch or four inch depth filter. The deeper filter works a little bit better and it'll last a little bit longer. I'm only using a one inch filter because that's all I had on hand. When you're installing the filter on the fan, you need to make sure that you pay attention to the direction of the airflow as indicated by the filter. So there'll be a tiny little arrow somewhere on the filter that tells you that the air is supposed to come through one side and out the other. I know that this fan pulls in air through this side and it pushes it out the front. So I will always make sure to, to put this filter on the back side in the direction of the airflow. Now we tape the filter to the fan. There are a few creative ways to attach the filter to the fan but I recommend that you keep it simple by laying the filter directly on the fan and attach with tape. I prefer to use masking or painter's tape, which makes filter swaps simple. If you use this purifier on a regular basis, you'll want to replace the filter two to four times per year. When applying the tape, you want to make sure that you create a seal around the entire frame of the filter and fan. If you don't, the air will travel the path of least resistance around the filter thus making your new purifier less effective. Once you're done taping, you're ready to give it a try. Now, these box fans can get pretty loud, so you might want to turn it down a bit. That said, the higher the fan speed, the more air is going to move through the filter, which means that it will improve your air quality faster. The recommended location to put this air purifier is in the room you spend the most amount of time in. That said, if the noise is a little bit loud, you can put it in a different room as long as the doors between all of the rooms in the house are open and then you'll find that throughout the day while the purifier is on, your air quality will gradually improve. In a future video, I'll show you how to automate your new air purifier with the smart plug. This will allow you to toggle your air purifier on or off depending on the state of the indoor or the outdoor air quality. And remember that this is only a DIY solution that can get you through events like wildfire smoke that might get trapped inside. To properly improve your air quality while indoors, you should be talking to your HVAC professional to see what types of solutions they recommend for more permanent and effective ways to improve your air quality for you and your family while you're at home. Thank you for watching and tune in next time for more tips on how to improve the air quality in your home.